Is there a FTPS client that you can use on Chromecast with Google TV or Android TV devices? Today I'm gonna try a FTPS client that works very good with TV remote. So you can use your Google TV as a FTPS client and transfer files with remote server. Let's go! Open Google Play Store by pressing voice button and say it. Opening Google Play Store. Search and install S to X File Manager. Open S to X from home screen. You can either select the option to manage all file types or choose no to limit it to only media files. To open the file manager and file transfer client, click on the blue button. Go to the FTP tab and enter your server credentials. All connections will be secured with TLS. You are now browsing the file contents on the remote server. We will now download the photo, video, and music folders to your local device's storage. The transfer has started, let's wait for it to finish. To view the contents of your local device's storage, click on the Chromecast tab. We will now use the local file manager to move or copy the media files we just downloaded to their correct folders. I have just finished moving or copying the media files to their respective folders. Now, let's check if I can open them with other apps installed on this device. Let's start by testing a video player to see if it can play files that are moved to the movies folder. The media store automatically adds these video files as well. Let's test a music player to see if it can play files that are copied to the music folder.
great. The music files in the music folder can be played successfully. The media store automatically adds these music files as well. Let's test a photo viewer to see if it can view files that are moved to the pictures folder. Great! The image files in the pictures folder can be viewed successfully. The media store automatically adds these image files as well. This app not only functions as a file manager and transfer client, but it also includes FTPS server capabilities. You can use the same app on another Android phone, and scan the QR code to connect and manage the files and file transfer. Alternatively, if the device does not have a camera, you can manually enter the server credentials to establish a connection.